Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is November 13th, 2016, 24 hours before the supermoon. New Zealand gets rocked by a 7.8 magnitude earthquake, which was predicted, and we believe the information was censored. I filed this report based on this information. Well, as everybody already knows, New Zealand took a pretty good hit yesterday, last night, this morning, their time. Magnitude 7.8. That's a quite sizable earthquake. Aftershocks, 6.2, 6.1, 5.7. And then a few hours ago in Chile, or excuse me, Argentina, magnitude 5.7. Now, the earth is literally getting rocked. This is a current earthquake situation right now in New Zealand. And you can see they are suffering very severe aftershocks. Now, just yesterday... Dutch since predicted these series of earthquakes and it seemed that nobody even cared. Nobody even paid attention. So people like Dutch and myself that warn you of impending cataclysms such as my subject Planet X, Nibiru. And Dutch does one hell of a job when it comes to predicting the earthquakes. This is the best that I've seen. I watched a video of his yesterday, which I'll provide you a link to, that he clearly shows that they are not reporting earthquakes throughout Russia and China. And these earthquakes that are not being reported may possibly be the reasons why the earthquakes are traveling through and into Italy. He also clearly shows in his video that Earthquakes on the northwest coast of the United States, specifically Oregon and Washington, are not being reported. It's not because they are little teeny tiny earthquakes. They're just not being reported at all. So Dutch went live a little while ago, and he's talking about this earthquake situation in New Zealand. And it's going to get worse. In, in no way, shape, or form is it going to get better. And people should really start listening to this man because I will create a tie-in with Planet X and Nibiru because one of the first signs of the interaction of that planet with our planet are the earthquakes. And our planet is literally being tugged on. The tectonic plates are being pulled apart. Our core is being heated. Therefore, internal pressure is moving these tectonic plates. Let's listen to Dutch real quick because he gives one hell of a report on what's going on. In case you're just now tuning in, a massive earthquake has hit down on the main island of New Zealand, northeast of Christchurch. Now, guys... This is significant. I mean, this is the, one of the largest earthquakes to strike New Zealand this century, in the last hundred years or more. And the way we know that is the 7.1 that struck two months ago was reported to be the largest earthquake in 40 to 50 years. So now we've gone way up above that. And since then, you can also see there's been a progression of earthquakes creeping to the north. So a 7.8 followed by a 6.5, about 20 to 30 miles up the coast, followed by a 4.6, another 20 to 30 miles up the coast. Equally spaced, going up to the north. Same time this happened, a tsunami warning was issued for a three meter wave, six foot wave. Came in, it took about two hours for the wave to arrive after the 7.8 struck. Technically, the 7.8 struck on land, right at the right at land, so for there to be a tsunami, the uplift that occurred was across a vast area, a vast area of uplift. 
Now I'm going to turn on a display capture here for us to take a look at something here. This will be the National Data Buoy Center. And let me get that open now. Guys, we issued a warning last night for New Zealand, for the West Pacific, telling everybody to be on watch for a mega quake. And the reason we were looking for a mega quake to occur is because of these deep 5.9s that popped up around the area. Now you see these event mode buoys. Each buoy that's flashing here is in a different event mode detecting wave activity. Now look where this is. Starting at Philippines, going over to the east past Guam, western side of Australia, eastern side of Australia, Fiji and Tonga, and the south tip of the island of New Zealand. Now with a 7.8 striking on land, where did the wave come from? Well, the uplift that occurred off that had to go across the whole region. Now, why did the whole region uplift? Well, we had deep earthquakes a day and a half ago, guys. And again, when you talk about our deep earthquakes, you had a deep 5.9. Take a look at it. A deep 5.9 and a deep 5.6, right on top of each other, raised high off the globe here. That was followed by a shallow 7.9, basically. 7.8. So 5.9 goes up two magnitudes, one magnitude 6.9, two magnitudes 7.9. Now, last night when I issued my warning for New Zealand, I talked about the north tip of the island. I'm a couple hundred miles off on this, guys. I was looking here. See where my mouse is? I was looking here for a large earthquake. And we talked about the potential for a 6.5. Well, now we're one magnitude off of two, 300 miles. That's not an earthquake forecast hit, but it's close enough to be definitely part of the warning. Now, I watched Dutch's prediction on his video yesterday, and he is absolutely correct. For a prediction and being only a few hundred miles off and a magnitude off is pretty incredible. This guy definitely knows what he's talking about. And that's why I listen to him every single day. I've actually learned a hell of a lot about earthquakes and the way that they travel by watching his YouTube channel. And I'm going to provide you a direct link to these two videos and his YouTube channel. But my point is right now, just like my channel and a few other channels that concentrate on Planet X and Nibiru, Dutch and his channel are being censored. He is trying to provide a service and a warning to people all over the world pertaining to devastating earthquakes. And out of 165,000 subscribers, only a few thousand actually got the message. And I find that absolutely ridiculous. Because this man knows what he's talking about. The USGS is censoring the magnitude and the area of these earthquakes. Russia and China are not even reporting important earthquakes that are going to affect other people in other countries. And Dutch proved it in his other video. But let's finish up listening to what he has to say because it's important. So, guys, the largest earthquake to strike in New Zealand has hit. This follows our deep earthquake events and as I told you last night we were looking at a very large earthquake on the menu. I said we had a choice between a swarm and a single larger earthquake and I was leaning towards the single larger earthquake and the reason I was leaning towards a single larger earthquake is because of course the deep earthquakes lead to shallow releases. Now, as if that wasn't enough, as if that wasn't enough proof that these deep earthquakes cause shallower movement, look over here in South America. South America was just hit by a 6.2 next to our deep 5.1. So deep 5.1 caused 1 to 2 magnitudes larger, and we have a 6.2 strike in South America. In our swarm location, no less. Now, I believe that's related to the earthquakes over here. So, the earthquake that struck in South America, the reason it struck there, if we follow our fracture zone to the west across the Pacific, you can see it pretty much meets up with the north tip of New Zealand. 
So all in all, I mean, what is it? It's a 7.8, a 6.5, and a 6.2, all striking this morning. Both sides of the Pacific. As if we needed any more proof that there's back-to-back -back movement, look at it, guys. West Pacific, New Zealand, East Pacific, South America, struck within hours of each other. I would dare say that's another case of proof right there for us all to see. So, if you didn't pay attention to the forecast last night, guys, it's only got 2,000 views. My forecast from last night has only been viewed 2,000 times. So I don't want to hear that everybody knows what's going on. Nobody knows what's going on. Nobody got the warning. 2,000 people. It's, it's kind of disgusting, actually, that my warnings didn't get out to the world. Nobody even knows. Nobody even knows. And I'm reading it to you right now. 2,454 views in 11 hours' time. I'm being censored. The video from last night called New Earthquake Forecast Area, 7-Day Outlook. Here it is. Look, 25 thumbs down. 250 thumbs up, 25 thumbs down for me warning the areas. <laughs> you freaking people kill me, man. You kill me. Unbelievable, man, that I'm being attacked. Fuck this shit. I'm done. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you can see clearly the frustration when you're trying to warn the public, you're trying to warn the world and humanity, and the powers that be, they censor you. They don't want you to know. As serious as the situations are, earthquakes, hurricanes, volcanoes, the incoming celestial body known as Planet X and Nibiru, they don't want you to know. So if you stop and think about it, just for a minute, why would someone censor a man and his YouTube channel like Dutch Sense? It's absolutely disgusting. And he has every right to be pissed off and to be mad because the same thing has been done to my channel I've been censored Steve Olson at WSO he's been censored we find these things out we have proved beyond a shadow of doubt that YouTube is censoring our videos notifications that go out to our subscribers they don't get them anymore I have very few subscribers that tell me that they are now continuing to get my notifications. I received probably over 3,000 emails pertaining to no one getting my notifications on videos that were just uploaded. They have to literally come back to the channel. I also found out the day before yesterday that all of the settings pertaining to my channel were all changed back to default, which means if anybody was searching anything about Planet X or Nibiru, my channel wasn't coming up because my channel was listed in the freaking automotive section of YouTube. I spoke with Steve Olson at WSO yesterday to tip him off on this, had him check his settings, and all of his tags, meta tags for his channel, which at one point in time were perfectly fine, while he checked it, all of his meta tags were meshed together as one big long word. So we're not stupid. We know what's happening. But getting back to the earthquakes, I have my own earthquake tracker. And I was just looking at New Zealand not more than a few minutes ago. And they just went through another aftershock of 4.9. Now, I was listening to Dutch a little further yesterday and how he predicted these earthquakes in New Zealand is pretty cool. He did a great job. And I'd like all of my subscribers to this channel to go ahead and subscribe to his channel 
click on a new notification, and listen to what this man has to say, especially if you live in an earthquake-prone zone. The west coast of the United States, California, and Washington on the west coast, they're being rocked. The USGS is downplaying the magnitude of the earthquakes. These are very serious situations that everyone needs to pay attention to. So don't rely on the notifications. Come back to the Nibiru channel. Go to Dutch's channel. Just literally go to the channel. If you have a few minutes, check it out. See if there's an update. If the notifications work, fine. But they're going to get rocked even more down in the South Pacific. There's absolutely no doubt. And I would definitely urge you to click on the link and watch Dutch's video from yesterday showing you facts that Russia and China are not reporting earthquakes that are significant to southern Europe, specifically Italy. And he proves it. And I'm telling you right now, I truly believe that our Earth is being tugged on right now by the energy of Planet X. It is coming toward our planet. It will be in the nighttime sky very soon. I may have uncovered some video out of Canada that already shows this planet in the sky clearly shining like a bright star. I will be releasing that video later on today. And it is very compelling. And I do believe that you should be listening to Dutch's channel at least once a day. At least once a day. I'd like to thank all of our Nibiru watchers. You guys do a fantastic job. Would also like to thank you for your loyal subscribership. You can continue to email your photographs and your video to NibiruPlanetX2016 at gmail.com. And don't forget to share our videos with your friends and family members on Facebook. And subscribe to the Nibiru channel for all of our current updates. And like I always say, keep an eye in the sky.